in September of 1943, we were warned by the rabbi in Denmark to tell all Jews, as many as possible, to go underground, hide in hospitals, hide wherever you can. That was the night my mother was taken by the Germans. My grandmother, Hannah Pakempner, was killed by the Lithuanians. After making them dig trenches, they machine gunned 7,523 Jews. That was in 1941, so I was six years old when we escaped the ghetto. A week later, the ghetto was eliminated. Everybody in the ghetto was killed. And one day, the German noticed him, and he shot him in the head. Right here, he was seven years old. Actually, we were taken away to Auschwitz from Hungary those days in 1944. And when we woke up next morning to the whistle of the capo, we realized that we are in hell. It boggles my mind. Uh, somehow I thought my quilt square would be the most powerful one. A picture of my mother's passport from Germany because it has a red J on it. And actually I didn't see any square that wasn't extremely powerful. It's a really big honor to have my grandpa here because he's like a really strong and brave person. And he's really nice and generous and it just, it's, it's just great to have him. <laughs> I am so grateful that this project exists and, and has given all of us an opportunity to memorialize people. And I thank you for this. The, the whole is much greater than the sum of its parts. It really is an amazing piece of work. I never gave in and I never gave up. And that's what I teach my children. Don't ever give up and never give in. And that's how I finish my story. Mm -hmm.